Hello everyone. I know this is not our normal Sundays, but I told you all that I would be uploading a video sometime during the week to talk about my experience in Dubai. So today is the day and I'm ready to share all of the details about my trip as well as sharing the experience that I had working with Destination Dubai. So if any of that interests you, keep watching. Okay, so to start things off, I know you're wondering with the title, why will you never go back to Dubai? A few reasons. So I'm not gonna go back to Dubai. One, that is just not a place that I gotta go back to and visit. I'm from the United States and I like to party when I go on vacation. That's what I do. Um, I also do like to experience new things. I like to be exposed to different cultures. Um, I enjoy all of that, right? So this country is, um, it's not a particular place that I would need to visit again just based off of how strict the rules and laws are there as far as like what we could wear. Um, for the most part, I got received stares for, you know, having my shoulders exposed or my knees exposed. And mind you, it's 100 plus degrees. Most likely every day was over 120 degrees. I'm not comfortable being covered up like this. Having this much covered was too much to be covered up for me, how hot it was. All right. So let's start from the beginning. From the moment we got off of the plane and we proceeded to customs that set the tone for how I pretty much felt about Dubai the entire time I was there. So as we are getting ready to go through customs, we are stopped and asked where were we coming from? I told the young woman we were coming from Chicago. Then she proceeds to ask for my passport as well as my friend's passports and she takes us one by one to different stations and pretty much goes through every every inch of my carry-on bag. And when I say every inch, I'm not exaggerating. When I say she went through every single thing, she went through everything. She checked my wallet, went inside the pockets of my wallet and asked me if I had weed and asked me if I had CBD, mm -hmm. if I had any drugs. She checked all of my makeup. She shook my bottles. Oh, and said, oh, this is really cute. This is a cute, like, ma'am, this is too much. Because as she was doing that, I'm watching them allow every other nationality to walk on past. And everybody, every black person that came through, they stopped and they checked each and every one of us. So I'm just keeping it all the way real. This is my experience and this is exactly what happened. I watched other nationalities walk through with no problem. And when it came to other black women, we all got stopped. What is this about? So it already left a nasty taste in my mouth before I've even gotten my luggage off of the plane. So now we fast forward, get my luggage off of the plane, and now we have another checkpoint to go through. And sure enough, as the sun rises and sets, we get stopped again. And this time my bag went through perfectly. I didn't have any problems and neither did my other friend. But my, um, my other friend, she got stopped and they went through her entire luggage, checked everything, and they stumbled upon a toothbrush. And they asked her, was it a fun toy? She told them that it was a toothbrush. Pop the top of the toothbrush off, you can see this is a toothbrush. So you really went through everything, So, because I'm assuming that fun toys, which we're talking about sex toys, because are not allowed over there. Okay, also another thing that <laughs> This bothers me like I'm very open with my sexuality and I'm open with the things that I like to do not to say that I'd need to bring one with me but I mean it's nothing wrong with having a sex toy at least not where I come from so obviously in this country no sex toys allowed I can only imagine what was gonna happen to her if she did have one well you're gonna take her to jail so we will go ahead and fast forward 
moving on along through my trip all of the activities that destination dubai coordinated for us was amazing and i strongly suggest people to use them if you are someone that wants to go to dubai i strongly suggest you go through destination dubai because I don't know about how you all when you go on girls trips or even guys if a guy is watching if you're going on trips with your guys like sometimes we as black people we hard to please and try to as a collective as a unit it's hard to coordinate and if you don't have somebody like really like making sure things get done we won't do anything so i feel like it was properly organized and i feel like i was able to experience so many things in those seven days so overall the actual activities um were great uh, the things that I wasn't for is all of the rules, me having to be covered up. Um, it just was a little too much for me because, again, it was, it was extremely hot. You can see how hot I look in all these pictures. Like, I was so over the heat. So one of the activities that Destination Dubai uh, planned for us was a yacht party, and it was two of them. It was either one in the afternoon or one at midnight. So we actually chose the midnight one because we thought, like, okay, we're going to be outside. So definitely it should be cooler. No. It was 120 degrees when we got on that yacht. And do y'all know, when we got off of the yacht, it still was 120 degrees at 4 o'clock in the morning. So... The weather, again, is unreal in my life. It was like basically being in a sauna for seven days. That's how it felt. So I'm not trying to discourage anybody from going and experiencing things because I'm going to still travel all over this world and I'm going to be in many of hot places, right? But wherever I go next, I better be able to be naked. So as you all know, and you heard me say that we went through a group called Destination Dubai um, to book this so, trip. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the shade room on Instagram, but I ended up stumbling upon the advertisement on the shade room. Um, then I subscribed, of course, to, I'm well, not subscribed. Then, of course, I followed their Instagram page and I kind of have been following the page. And then I, and then last November, they posted about how they'll be going to Dubai in September of 2019. And I asked my friends if this was something that they wanted to do. And that's how it came about. Not gonna lie, I definitely thought initially that this might be like uh, the fire Festival. I was a little nervous thinking that when we got to Dubai <laughs> that there wouldn't be anything there. We wouldn't have a hotel, we wouldn't have anything. But no, um, I was pleasantly surprised that everything was very organized and that I actually had nothing to worry about. And we were, for the most part, very taken care of um, considering this was such a very large group. Like maybe like two or 300 people. I'm really not sure. So I don't know how many people were there, but it wasn't like a small party. It wasn't like 25 or 50. Like it was definitely a lot of us. We actually booked their VIP package, which basically included everything, all of the travel to and from all of the events. And I didn't really want to worry about how we were going to get there. And of course it included our hotel room. Our hotel was very nice. I think that was definitely up to par. We stayed at the JW Marriott Marquis. Some of the activities that we participated in, we did go to the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world. So that was kind of awesome. It's pretty cool just to say that I, I've been to the tallest building in the world. So that's super cool. If you are planning a trip to Dubai, you definitely should go to the Burj Khalifa to go ahead and get that experience. Also, we did get the opportunity. I feel like another fun activity that they planned for us was a water park that was inside of the Atlantis Hotel. And that was awesome. I had a lot of fun that day. Um, I love water parks. And that was one day that I could be naked. <laughs> so I was uh, walking around in my bathing suit and I felt good. I felt normal, like my normal lifestyle, right? So that was a lot of fun. So it's so many different things that you can do um, in Dubai. And I feel like we got a really, really, really great experience. We also went into town and not the real like touristy area like really town and maybe that is also touristy but we were in the city like and it was giving me like arabian night vibes like for real for real and the men were very very aggressive i was not prepared for that at all um i felt very very uncomfortable 
when I wanted to leave at a particular store and in, and they were very abrasive with them trying to convince me to buy something. I was almost like scared, like, okay, I'm gonna buy it because you're aggressive. And I don't ever wanna feel like that <laughs> ever again in my life because it was, it was a lot. So be mindful if you all do go to Dubai, you want to get the true experience, not like the tourist area, and you really want to go into the city. There's nothing wrong with that because I feel like I definitely wanted that experience, but go with a male. I feel like if we were with men, they wouldn't have been as aggressive, but who knows? Maybe they would have been, but at least I can say I did it and I have experienced the true authentic um, city of Dubai and I think they the area that we were in they called it old Dubai so something that wasn't included or wasn't a part of the destination Dubai itinerary we actually took a cab to Abu Dhabi because we wanted to go to the mosque to experience that and actually see that well it was something that my friend really wanted to do so I'm all for it. We're on this girl trip. Uh, we're bonding and spending time together. You wanna go ahead and take an hour drive to another city? Let's go ahead and do it. So we did do that and that was, um, it was awesome. I definitely feel like, again, if you're going to Dubai, that's a place that you definitely want to experience if you can fit that into your trip some kind of way. We also attempted to go to Ferrari World. That was something that I really wanted to go. Once I found out about Ferrari World, I really wanted to experience it because it is actually like an amusement park um, for Ferrari, right? The car company. And unfortunately, we took too much time at the mosque and I wasn't able to um, experience Ferrari World. So maybe I will go back to Dubai because I kind of really wanted to go to Ferrari World. I don't know they might get one more trip out of me just because I didn't get a chance to do that. <laughs> to just kind of touch on the, the points of the mom, you definitely have to be like covered up completely. Women have to be covered from completely like head to toe. I know you guys have probably seen other videos um, talking about, you know, what that experience is like. My sleeve was hanging and I had to go ahead and cover myself up fully. Um, when we, and it's, again, it's 120 degrees outside and you do have to actually go up and outside and go through um, each area, the areas where they actually pray. So you do get to actually see all of that. And that's a part of their culture. And I am very grateful that I got the opportunity to experience that and see that. But I definitely don't ever have to do it again because it was extremely hot. I, I would assume that you get used to that heat, but it was just nothing that I could ever, um, ever live in. We were waiting for my other friends and her hood was starting to slip off of her head and they like told her that she had to hurry up and like cover your head back up again so it's just like to it's like extreme to the max time a thousand um where under no circumstance can you be exposed any skin be exposed other than like your face and your mouth but nothing else can can be shown basically so it was definitely a culture shock. so if nothing else i want you all to take away that my trip to Dubai was turned to the max times a thousand. I really enjoyed myself. I really had a great time um, going through Destination Dubai. I strongly suggest anyone to check them out at least if you're interested in going to Dubai. Overall, it was a great experience. If you guys enjoyed this, this I don't really even know what to call this. Um, <laughs> this is just a chit chat with me on and my trip to dubai if you did enjoy this information and you felt that it was helpful please like this video and share it with anybody that is going to be traveling to dubai because i mean it's pretty much who needs to know about this or someone who's just interested in traveling to dubai please share this video um, i definitely appreciate the likes and the comments i want to know if you're watching this, have you ever been to Dubai? Is your experience similar to mine? Um, comment and let me know. And I will see you guys on my normal Sundays with the next video.